Yeah, so, you know, right now, collagen is a huge buzzword. It's, it's, it's almost like a fad. And I almost wish our product wasn't called collagen, and it's actually called the Collagen HA Matrix. Um, HA stands for hyaluronic acid, and matrix just means like a molecule that's composed of different parts put together. Um, but I wish it had a different name just because right now collagen is everywhere. Like Sophie said, you know, you can't, you can't go to even to like a gas station and not see collagen at the counter. And there's all these different brands and, you know, clever marketing. And, um, so it is a buzzword. And so one thing that I want to say is Sophie and I are incredibly picky about the supplements that we put into our own bodies and the supplements that we use for our clients. And we both do our research. And the reason why I only use this brand, this company, and the reason why Sophie also decided to only use this brand and this company is because of the science and the way that this collagen works in the body, which is very, very different. So what is collagen? You know, collagen is a protein and it's in our bodies about 80 to 90% of our entire body. And that means skin, hair, nails, joints, muscles, the linings of all of our organs, our brain, like literally every protein part of our body. So soft tissue, connective tissue, fascia is made of collagen. And, and so we need it, we need it to be healthy. We need it, especially as we age. And um, so good, so I said that, yeah, acts like the scaffolding. It literally, it, it holds us up. Our spine is made of collagen. It forms our muscles, it forms our joints, um, every aspect of, of our connective tissue and soft tissue. Yeah, yeah, incredibly important. And exactly. but the big question is, you know, don't we have plenty of it, you know? Like, aren't we born with it? <laughs> so, so yeah, that's, you know, this is great because I'm just going to ask all the frequently asked questions that we both get asked. And I'm sure you guys are already thinking in your own heads, like, you know, why do we have to take it? If we're made of it, why do we have to take it? And can't we get it from our food? And so when we're born, yes, we have plenty of collagen, you know, so we have both plenty of collagen and plenty of hyaluronic acid when we're born. And then the aging process is literally the process of dehydrating. You know, we're literally shriveling up. It's like going from a plum um, or you can say like a grape to a raisin. And, you know, just think about that when you have a baby, like how plump are they? You know, they're so soft, they're so plump, they're so smooth. And then, you know, I think about my grandmother who passed when she was 100 or 101, I think 100, beautiful woman, but wrinkles, right? You know, lots of wrinkles, lots of dehydration. And that is the aging process. So around the age 25-ish, you know, 25 to 30, everyone, all of us begin to lose collagen at a rate of one to 2% per year. And that just continues. And literally there's nothing you can do to stop it because it is just the aging process. And we can't stop the aging process. We can slow down the aging process. And you can't, other questions that I get, you can't exercise this back. You can't exercise collagen back into your body. You can't eat collagen back into your body. So unfortunately, we're left with the only option, which is we have to supplement collagen back into our body because if we don't, we're, it's, it's a one-way direction. We're just going to lose it. We can't get it back if we don't do something about it. So yeah, so I said Yeah, so you started to speak, speak to this, you know, just different forms of where we get it and yeah, food-based sources of it too. Yeah. So you, Sophie, probably get the same exact question I get all the time. It's what about bone broth? Yeah. Yep. And I'm like, do it, you know, go for it. Bone broth is so nutritious. It's filled with minerals. It does have collagen in it. It's an incredibly healthy food. You know, it's every, every culture around the world uses bone broth. It's a traditional food. It's been used for thousands of years. It's fantastic. Um, I consume bone broth. Sophie consumes bone broth. We're always going to tell you to continue to do that. 
um, do you get collagen from bone broth? And the answer is yes. You know, it's in the bones, it's in the connective tissue. So it is going to be in bone broth. But how much of it are you absorbing? And that's what makes this brand so different. And that's why just consuming bone broth or, you know, sucking on marrow, you know, or e eating connective tissue is not going to do the trick. So it's, it, collagen is an enormous molecule. It's like trying to fit a basketball through a chain link fence. And um, what, you know, in another slide, I'm gonna talk about it. The technology has been created so that that humongous uh, molecule shrinks down. So it's like putting a P through a chain link fence and we can absorb it. But when you consume bone broth, you're probably absorbing somewhere between 15 to 30% of that collagen. You're actually able to utilize it. But if you have any kind of digestive issue, you're gonna use less. So you're gonna absorb less than 30, less than 15%. So not necessarily the best way to um, regenerate the soft tissue or uh, re replace the lost collagen in your body. Thank you. Yeah. Um, oh, the vegetable vegan. Okay, I get asked this constantly. Is there a vegan source? And the answer is no. And so clever marketing has confused people on that point because there are a lot of supplements that say vegetarian collagen or vegan collagen. And it's just, they're just using clever marketing. What they're doing is they're using collagen boosters. So vitamin C, for example, is a collagen booster. Antioxidants are collagen boosters. So there are some amazing products. So for example, um, Perfect Aminos is something that both Sophie and I use. It's a fantastic product. It contains no collagen in it. What it contains are amino acids and there's other products that contain vitamin C and other antioxidants that boost the production of collagen in your body, but it's not a collagen source in and of itself. Collagen only, only, only comes from animals because it only, only, only comes from connective tissue. Yep, and you spoke to this. You just spoke to the fact that um, it's um, 15 to 30% absorbed, right? And so what does that mean in terms of the most common collagens that we're seeing everywhere? Exactly. So everything that I said about the bone broth, also it, it, it pertains to the powdered collagen and, and even the liquid collagens, because the liquid collagens are not what we're, the liquid collagens, other than the one that we're going to discuss, it's not the same technology. Literally, it's powdered collagen put in liquid. So it's still a powdered collagen. And so it doesn't matter whether it's hydrolyzed, whether it's peptides, you know, it doesn't matter what those words are on the label. It's a molecule, a collagen in nature, it exists in nature, you know, it is an enormous molecule. And it just simply won't be absorbed into our soft tissues higher than 15 to 30%. And that's optimal absorption, as I mentioned. So if you don't have great digestion and you're taking a powdered collagen, regardless of the brand name and regardless of whether it's just peptides or hydrolyzed or anything like that, you just simply aren't going, you consume it, but most of it, you're just going to pass right out of your body into the toilet. Um, you're not going to absorb it into your soft tissues in your body so that your body repairs itself. Understood. Yep. And, and that's, oh, I'm so sorry. So, that, because you both, you and I, we, we used a, a particular brand name. Yeah. I was just about to say that. Yeah. Yeah. You go ahead. You go ahead. Well, I was just about to say that we both used powder collagen for years and, you know, and clinically did see some, some people, and personally, you know, some benefits, right? Enough so that, you know, we're, yeah, both highly recommended it to many, many people. Um, but I have just found that the, the few, the, the folks who did see benefits with the powdered collagen, then the benefits now with this particular form of liquid, you know, so much more because um, of the absorbency. And, and I did have many clients who'd be like, well, I'm doing my powdered collagen. I'm taking it every day and I don't, don't notice anything. Yeah, and if I can briefly touch on that, because you said that perfectly, Sophie. Yeah, you know, both Sophie and I used the same powdered collagen for about a decade, 10 years. Mm -hmm. 
And, and I really liked it because I, I personally did see results. So I, I want to make sure that everybody understands. I'm not saying that bone broth will be zero effect, you know, effective or that powdered collagen is zero effective because that's not true. Um, you know, there are doctors and there's, there's um, dermatologists and, and plastic surgeons and you're going to hear them say, don't waste your money. Collagen is worthless. It doesn't work. It doesn't help you. And and really they are speaking to that fact that for so many people, they're not absorbing enough of it to see an impact or, or an effect in the body. You know, Sophie and I used the powdered collagen that we saw some people yeah. have nice results. And, um, and the, the thing that is so remarkable is that those exact same people, so myself included, Sophie, and I actually have photographs of clients who were taking that powdered collagen, and when we switched them over to this, um, uh, the li liquid collagen with the low molecular weight, it was like night and day, you know, we, it was visible in photographs and, and, and through symptoms, it was like night and day, the improvements. Yeah. Um, so that's a great segue <laughs> into just, yeah, speaking more about how um, this particular liquid collagen, as you say, that's so unique with the low molecular weight is, is different, right? And so if you want to tell us a little bit more about what makes it so unique. Yeah, since you know that picture was showing the collagen, I filled up my little beaker. Oh, nice. You can see it, you know, that's what it looks like. It's, it's liquid. Um, and I really recommend that you use the shot glass so that you take the correct dose. This is 15 milliliters. We're gonna talk about that later. Um, yeah, so, so one thing is I want to make sure I don't sound like a commercial because it's not what this is about, you know, when Sophie and I get so excited about something and, you know, I get really enthusiastic, um, you know, and Sophie and I were practitioners and all we care about is, does it work? Mm -hmm. You know, we have no ties to any company. We are free agents. We get to work with any any supplement that works. And that's why we are so excited about this because it is so different. Um, so the science behind it goes back 20 years and then the liquid version of it goes back about 10 years. And so the woman who, it's awesome, it's a female formulator. And what she knew is that the, um, the way that collagen exists in nature is that it, the, the molecule is so huge that we don't absorb it. So she did two things. She found a source that was bioidentical, as close to being bioidentical to humans as possible. And guys, it's not pigs, it's not cows, it's not the hides, it's not the hoofs, it's not the skin, it's not the hair of animals. I mean, it's so weird. I might be getting ahead on the slides, but that's okay. It's this tiny, teeny little piece of cartilage from a chicken sternum. So the wishbone, and at the tip of the wishbone is this tiny little piece of cartilage that mimics or mirrors human cartilage. So first of all, the source matters. So even though hair, eyes, nails, hoofs, Skin is all made of connected bones or all made of connective tissue, it's, will the body look at that as its own and then utilize it as its own? And so this tiny little piece of cartilage at the, the, bait, you know, at the tip of the wishbone is most compatible to human articular, articular joints, cartilage. And so that's one thing. And then the second thing is that in nature, so, you know, you guys, if, if, if you, are following me or you're following Sophie, you know about whole food philosophy, about not using things that are synthetic, about using the whole food that way that nature intended naturally without it being synthetic or without it being separated. And so there's something called the collagen HA chondroitin sulfate matrix. And what that means is that in nature, in this piece of cartilage exists naturally occurring Collagen, hyaluronic acid, that's HA, and chondroitin sulfate. So it's not added in synthetic hyaluronic acid because you'll see that on various brands that are marketing because they're trying to copy what this company figured out 20 years ago 
and then and then um, improved it 10 years ago. They're trying to copy that. So they will add synthetic hyaluronic acid to their products, or they will add synthetic conjointant sulfate to their products, where this is just simply extracting it from the bone, the cartilage, sorry, of the chicken, the way that it exists in nature with um, collagen, hyaluronic acid, and conjointant sulfate in a matrix as nature put it together. And then the beauty, the science and the technology came where they shrunk it down. So they took that basketball sized molecule and shrunk it down to a pea sized molecule so that we absorb it straight into the bloodstream. And it means that we don't have to digest it. We literally, the instant it goes into our mouth, it's absorbed through the um, mucosal lining. So sublingually through the mucosal lining of our mouth, our esophagus and our stomach and our intestines, it just goes straight into the bloodstream. So um, that way the bloodstream brings it throughout the entire body and then we're able to absorb, get this, like close to 98%. So anywhere from like 95, 96 to 98%, we're absorbing it straight into the soft tissues of our bodies compared to 15 to 30% if our digestion is working properly. Yep. Yeah, that is key right there. Yeah. Um, oh, and then I didn't touch on, so I went off onto like other slides. Sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> So you want me to go back? Yeah, let's go back because I didn't touch on um, the, the patents. So anyway, you know, this is a smarty pants. The woman who formulated it, her name is Asma Isak. Um, she's a smarty pants. So she knew what she got. She knew what she figured out. So, um, and this, she was so ahead of the game that she knew that eventually collagen was going to be a household name and eventually it was going to be a buzzword. So what she did is she patented it. She put seven patents, international patents on the technology of shrinking down that molecule. And she did it so early in the game that no other company can, can duplicate this. And she, and she also, those patents are not just on like, it's like the Goldilocks effect. It has to be just the right size because it can't be too big and it can't be too small for the body to utilize this collagen HA matrix. So what she did is she put a patent on the correct, like the perfect Goldilocks size, but then she put a patent on everything that was a little bit bigger and everything that was a little bit smaller. So no other company in the entire world can duplicate this technology. And that's why Sophie and I only use this one because there literally is no other company that can produce this level, this level of quality. I said it all, yeah. <laughs> and so you started to speak to this, right? You, you, you talked about the rapid absorption and its purity and the molecular weight. Um, but if you just wanna speak more about, um, yeah, that chicken cartilage, where it comes from, how it's been utilized. Yes, yeah, so, so if you probably get the exact same question that I get is, is it organic? You know, is it clean? Yeah. And, and it's important. Those questions are important. Those are valid questions and they're important questions. So, you know, no, it's not organic. And immediately people are like, oh, and then I'm not interested, but you have to hear us out. Okay. It's not organic um, because that's not the important part, but it is. GMO free, so genetically modified free, antibiotic free, hormone free. Okay, so this is a clean product. Um, there simply doesn't exist enough organic farms to produce that teeny tiny little cartilage. Just think about the volume of, of wishbones that we need in order to create this product. So since there don't exist enough organic farms, the company is incredibly clean, incredibly ethical in their sourcing. So it's only from, um, from chickens that are GMO free, pesticide free, um, uh, hormone free, antibiotic free in North America. Okay, so that's really important. But here's the awesome part is that it's cleaner than any organic collagen on the market because uh, cartilage doesn't have, a, 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 it, it's not touched by blood, nerves, or lymph. So, you know, cartilage doesn't have a source of blood flowing through it, which means the diseases that get passed into the soft tissues of hair, hoofs, um, bones, skin, you know, diseases are passed through blood or lymph or in the nerves. 
And so since cartilage doesn't have any of that touching it, it's the cleanest source that we could possibly have. So that is really important. Like I personally have done so much research on this that even if a, a powdered collagen says it's organic, I know that this is cleaner, that there are fewer contaminants in this product. So that's one thing. Um, we talked about the absorption. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. And then the, the clinical trials. So again, going back to the fact that Sophie and I, we only care about what works. We read clinical trials. We read science. But at the end of the day, we are frontline practitioners. We are in the trenches with you guys. So we are not just like cerebral thinkers and just reading research. We read the research, but then we have to apply it. It has to work. And the research can look amazing. But for, for Sophie and I, it's like, do we see it in real life? Does it work? And so the beauty of this is there's 37 human clinical trials. So it wasn't done on rabbits or mice or something like that. It was human clinical trials. And these are third party, I get all the words, third party, double blind, placebo, placebo controlled, peer reviewed, randomized. That's a word I forgot to put in there. That's the gold standard. Like you can't fake these clinical trials. And they absolutely definitively proved that it increases the health of joints, skin, nails, and eyes. And it's not on the slide, but so much so that Canada, who has an incredibly rigid um, rules on their supplements, so much more than the United States. So the government has to prove that if, when, if supplement makes a claim, the government has to prove that that's true. And the government in Canada did look at these clinical trials and felt that it was true and accurate so that they put on their bottles that, um, you know, I'm not even going to say it because then it would be like, I can't name diseases, right? So they actually named diseases on the bottle. So if you ordered your product in Canada, you would actually see like the diseases that the product handles that in the United States, the FDA doesn't allow us to say. Oh, that's cool. I did not know that part. Yeah, so cool. So let's get into the exciting um, clinical things that we've been seeing, right? Because I think that's really what it comes down to to folks is like, well, what changes have you been seeing in your clients, and um, and what can it do for people who are interested who haven't tried it yet? Yeah, and you know, and you can speak to your experiences also, like with what you see now that compared. To first video that we did, you've been using it longer now. Yep, it's true. Yeah, like, so I've been, I think it's around nine months. So it's not that long that I've been using it for myself and for my clients. And Sophie and I were talking before we, we started recording how this is a dream come true for the two of us. Um, you know, I've, I've been a holistic nutritionist for almost 20 years. And so I've seen remarkable things throughout that entire Time. my whole career has been you know just watching people get healthy and it's it's the most satisfying thing you can imagine but this product <laughs> like it just blew me out of the water and continues to blow me out of the water I've never seen anything like it in two decades I'm talking about hair growing back like like my 85 year old father-in-law who has diabetes and has all these like a thyroid issue and all these health concerns and he's 85, his hair is growing back. You know, my, that, my mom, that's my mom on the left. That's her eye, her eyes. Like she's 81 years old. And she was thinking about getting eye surgery for the eyelid because it was interfering with her vision and it was bothering her so much. And she's like, look at it. You know, her eyelid's not going over her eyelashes anymore. Um, joints, you know, that's something we can't show in photographs and it's, you know, the, I do have some videos of, of people running um, or, and, and a guy who had a knee replacement and he's riding his bike, like the, the joint health, because it's articular, it's cartilage, you know, so, so it's, it, the hyaluronic acid plumps up the, um, the synovial fluid in the joints while the collagen and chondroitin sulfate goes into repair. So, you know, I was telling Sophie, 
I've always been obsessed with skincare. So I didn't have photographs that were, you know, amazing for myself as far as before and after I noticed a difference, but the photographs weren't that much different, but my joint health, because I've had joint problems since I can remember young, like as a child. And so like, I just got a Greyhound and she wants to run. So I literally like have to jog and when I'm walking her and I'm marveling about the fact that I can even do that because I couldn't even like jog two steps previously without being in pain. Um, and it can just go on and on. What I put the hair, oh, this, the, the skin dryness, right? So literally the aging process is dehydrating from the inside out. So like taking the raisin, um, sorry, taking the grape and going to a raisin, that is the aging process of our skin, but every everything, our internal organs, our bones, Everything is doing that. It's just like, just like dehydrating. And so this increases hydration, the plumpness. So you see the plumpness of the skin. And when I go to get, cause I'm obsessive about aging and my skin. So I get facials all the time and I go to different estheticians and I get different treatments. And believe me, I'm like no beauty queen or anything like that. But when I, they, you know, they, they meet me for the first time and they start massaging my face. Two things, every time, without fail, how old are you? <laughs> and when I tell them, they're like, what? And it's not, you know, it's, it's, it's the firmness, you know, it's the plumpness, like, you know, babies, they're just so plump. It's, it's this, um, I don't know what to say, like, I, um, the bounce back factor, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then they comment on my eyelashes and I'm not saying any of this like I, um I'm just sharing this because you're gonna see it for yourself and I'm just trying to like share what happens because eyelashes are made of collagen and you know I, I inherited my dad's eyelashes so I'm just that's just genetics but they grew out of control. So those are the two things that people mentioned, the estheticians mentioned to me. And then my dentist, I was so naughty. I had a traumatic dental experience three years ago. So I just stopped going to the dentist. Like we did everything we're not supposed to do. Like so we'd be like, Ch -ch -ch, right? We're supposed to like go to our visits and be compliant and take our supplements. So here I am as a practitioner, not going to the dentist, not being a good girl because I didn't I want to go back to a dentist ever again. So that means I didn't have a cleaning for three years. And I went in there dreading it, brand new dentist, thinking, oh my God, I'm going to get this huge lecture, you know. And the dental hygienist was like, when was your last cleaning? And I'm like, I know, I'm sorry. It was three years ago. She's like, no, there's no plaque. She's like, there's, your teeth are clean. There's like, she scraped like, eh, eh, and that was it. And then the dentist came and he's like, I've never seen such clean teeth in my life. And not brushing, right? It's plaque buildup because our gums and our teeth and all that, it's all made of collagen, hyaluronic acid and chondroitin and sulfate. So the health of your teeth and your gums, it's like, I never expected that. I could go on and on. You're gonna have to interrupt me. No, I know. Cause I'm just thinking of the same stories. Do you know what I mean? Just people coming in um, and yeah, it's just, it's such a joy to hear because I have folks saying such a range of things, right? Coming back after a month and being like, well, I have no more acid reflux. And that being the only thing um, that the client changed or um, hair, yeah, hair growing back in that had been thinning and we had been trying so many other things to address it. Um, what are some other people just sharing that they have more energy, that they just feel, they just feel this different shift in well being getting and getting out of bed easier. Um, of course that ties more into joints and just having more spring in their step. Um, I have one client who had had to have a very restricted diet due to so many um, food sensitivities and reactions and a month on the um, liquid collagen and she started tolerating more foods and just um, and not having the same reactions. So yeah, I know. I, I share your same excitement because it, it does. It, you don't realize the diversity of the different things that it can be working on um, until you start hearing all the stories. Yeah, exactly. And there's two more stories I want to share because people ask about it, like everything mm -hmm. digestion, because when we think of collagen and uh, because when we show images, we're showing images of hair and skin because those are the only images we can show. Yeah. So, you know, 
80 to 90% of the protein of our body is made of collagen. So that means your organs. And that means your digestive tract, your esophagus, your stomach, your intestines. So what Sophie was saying about people being able to start eating foods they couldn't eat before, it's because the repair process is happening of the lining of the intestines and the stomach and the esophagus. And then um, energy. Like our thyroids, our adrenal glands, our entire endocrine system is, every organ is encased in connective tissue or the connective tissues throughout the organ and the gland. And so, you know, being very careful not to mention um, names of diseases or, you know, doing any kind of mention of medication. I want to be very careful. <laughs> How do I say this? I can always talk about myself. So one of the reasons Sophie and I will talk about ourselves because we're allowed to. <laughs> yep. And um, so for instance, my thyroid is, is healing itself. I had a very severe, very weird thyroid thing happen. Now I think it's been five or six years ago that happened out of the blue where my thyroid swelled up and we couldn't figure it out. And I wound up on thyroid medication. So as a result of taking the liquid collagen, my thyroid has actually started to repair itself and my energy has gone through the roof and my doctor has decreased my thyroid medication. And I'm using myself in, as an example because I have many, many, many other cases of the exact same occurrence with clients where their doctors have, have steadily decreased their thyroid medication because the thyroid's repairing itself and they no longer need that. And talking about hormones, you know, menopause and um, perimenopause, like I'm perimenopausal and I was having a really hard time with hot flashes and a really hard time with acne, like, like going through puberty all over again. It was horrible and a hard time sleeping and my moods. It was like, who am I? I'm going through puberty, but I'm like almost 50. What's happening? And it's it all balanced. Like I don't have any more hot flashes anymore. I'm sleeping like a baby. Then thank God the acne stopped because you know it's like it's never fun. But when you're like in your upper 40s, you're like, what is going on with the acne? And again, I'm sharing my story, but I have like photograph after photograph, testimonial after testimonial about um, menopause and perimenopause and all the and and not just menopause and, and perimenopause, but also cycles. Um, menstrual cramps because the uterus right it's a muscle and our muscles connective tissue and so headaches um and and um, menstrual cramps and things connected to menstrual cycles and hormones it's just things i never thought about until people started reporting them awesome thank you for sharing all of that yeah. um, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna go to the next slide because <laughs> i'm sure we, cause we just have more pictures and i wanted to move on to sharing that right um yeah, just a, all the different ways that it creates change. Yeah, I just want to mention one more because the things that I'm mentioning, the reason I'm mentioning them are because they're the questions I get asked so yeah. often, um, is the dry eyes. So, you know, not just the wrinkles around the eyes, which you can see on the picture on the right, but the actual eye itself, the vitre vitreous hum humus, hum whatever, the, <laughs> the, um, the liquid lining of the eye is made of hyaluronic acid and some con, um, con, um, uh, collagen. So I had severe dry eyes, which so we can attest to. And um, I was on medication, like medicated eye drops and steroids at, at one point. I'm completely off of all of the eye drops. And it's entirely because of increasing the hyaluronic acid and the, and the um, collagen in the moisture of the eye. That's awesome. <laughs> I didn't know that one. Do um, you want to speak to anything else on this page or should we keep going? I guess we should keep going because as you can tell, <laughs> yeah, I know we're going to run out of time. Um, yeah, just awesome results that people have been sharing. All right, so let's get more into how we take it, right? And um, from there. Yeah, it's really simple. It's another thing I like about this because it's liquid and you know, how many times is compliance an issue? Yeah. It's, it's probably the number one challenge that Sophie and I have as practitioners is compliance, you know, people taking their supplements and following through. So what I really like is that it's a liquid, it tastes good. 
Um, and so I, I have in here, if you can see it, 15 milliliters, it's exactly 15 milliliters. 15 milliliters is a baker's tablespoon. Uh, a baker's tablespoon is like a measuring tablespoon as compared to your silverware drawer, because that's not 15 milliliters. I've actually stopped saying a tablespoon because people are chronically underdosing. They'll take a teaspoon or a tablespoon from their kitchen drawer, uh, or they'll just swing it out of the bottle, right? Yep. So, we know that compliance and dosing is important no matter what it is in life, but it's especially important with this supplement and especially important the first three months that you're taking enough. Because if you don't take enough, it's not gonna work. And the other really important thing is that collagen has a, a, a half-life of 12 hours. So when you take one dose, it's only available for your body to use it for 12 hours. So you've got to take it twice a day. And so very commonly people will say like, oh, 30 milliliters per day, I'll take all 30 milliliters in the morning or all 30 milliliters at night. And that's, you know, while it's better than nothing because it is gonna work in your body for 12 hours, you're not gonna get the optimal results because you have to replace it every 12 hours. Approximately, don't, don't be obsessive about it. Just, you know, approximately just take it twice a day, like breakfast and dinner or when you wake up in the morning and when you go to bed at night, just whatever works for you. And most times I am very strict and say with supplements, take the exact dose that I tell you to take or that Sophie tells you to take. This is the only supplement where I'm saying more is better. And that is just not the case with other things, but it is the case with this, especially the first 30 days, because we have to replenish so many years of lost collagen and hyaluronic acid in our bodies that our body just like sucks it in like a sponge. And so, you know, for the first um, 90, three months, 90 days, it's just sucking us in like a sponge. So more is better, but the minimum dose is 15 milliliters in the morning, 15 milliliters in the evening. Um, I do recommend getting yourself a shot glass. Um, just pour it in there and take your shot. Yeah, it works so well. I've, I've done the same thing. We started giving out little liquid measurers of 15 milliliters because yeah, people were not taking enough. <clears throat> yeah, and that's the number one. I don't know like what you've feedback you've gotten. The, anytime somebody tells me it's not working. Yeah. Because I, I have hundreds of people on this now. So I, I now have enough time under my belt. I, I think it's like nine months plus hundreds of people taking it, I now have enough experience to know definitively, there's only two reasons that somebody's not getting a result. They're not taking enough, even if they're taking it correctly. Let's say that a person is definitely taking 15 milliliters in the morning and the evening. For that individual's body, they need more, okay? So it's either you're not taking enough or it's not been long enough because the clinical trials were 90 days. That just happened to be the number of days the clinical trials ran and then ended, and it did show definitively the results in that amount of time. But if a person is either over the age of 60, even over the age of 50, but especially over the age of 60, think about all the years of, of just going in one direction of losing collagen and hyaluronic acid all those years, like the amount that we need to replenish before you even start to see changes and results in some instances. And then in other instances, there's just so much damage in the body that needs to be repaired. It's just, it's gonna take a while. And so I have people all over, like very young and very old and healthy and athletes to like severe health issues. And so now I have so much experience with all the variations that it's always take more <laughs> and time. You need more time. And in the severest of cases, you're gonna need a year. So most people will see very beautiful results within three months, most people. Some lucky ducks will see results fast, like because the hyaluronic acid plumps. So some people, it will be within 24 hours, they'll see the plumpness because that's the increase of water and hydration in the body. But then the collagen will come in and you'll start to feel differences and start to see those repairs in about two weeks. So those are the lucky ducks, you know, two weeks. And then the average somewhere in three to four months. And then 
some cases need six months to a year. So I tell everybody now, I'm like, do not give up on this for a year. <laughs> and then don't ever give up on this because there's only one way to replace lost collagen, which is to take it. Yep. And you just, I should have jumped ahead, but this is it's, it's the slide of exactly what you were speaking of. Um, and I see the same thing too. Yeah, I had, yeah, one woman, it blew me away. Like her hair was visibly thicker um, after being so thin every time I would, would test her, you know, could see her scalp, it was visibly thicker um, within six weeks. And that really shocked me. Um, but most people, it has been on the longer side. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a whole gamut. And, um, um, oh, refrigerate it when you open it. That was on a previous slide. So it's okay, room temperature when it's closed. Okay, but the instant you open it, it needs to go into the refrigerator. And then the other cool thing is you can take it with or without food. It does not matter. And then if you want like the pro tip, swish it around in your mouth. Um, just hold it for a few seconds because it is absorbed sublingually straight into the bloodstream. This is not required. You don't have to do this. It will be absorbed just fine by swallowing it, you know, immediately. But, you know, if you want a little like kick and you want it to work just a little bit faster, you can hold it in your mouth and it will go straight into the bloodstream from your mouth. Awesome. Um, all right. Yeah. So, so key, especially because some folks, you know, we're looking at ourselves in the mirror every single day, right? We don't observe how we change, right? And I think that's one of the most common things that I get from folks too, is like, I don't, I don't see differences, right? Um, so it is key to take pictures. I don't know if you want to speak more to how you have your clients do that, Tara. I beg you to take your pictures. <laughs> how do I get my pic my the people to take the pictures? I beg them. <laughs> <laughs> take your pictures. You know, it's for you. You know, if you allow us permission to use them, thank you. And that's amazing because you're helping other people. But we're not asking you to take the pictures for our sake. We're asking you to take the pictures for your sake. And also make a list of your symptoms. You know, if you have joint pain, if you have digestive issues, if you have brain fog, whatever it is, like make a list of your symptoms and take your pictures. I cannot tell you how many times I've had people texting me or calling me or messaging me and saying, well, it's been 90 days, you know, it's been three months. I see no difference whatsoever. Um, it doesn't work on me. And, and, you know, I discussed with them exactly what I just said. Well, you might need more time. Maybe you're not taking enough. I'm like, you know, wait, hold on. Did you take your before pictures? And they're like, yep. I'm like, great, go take some pictures right now and send them to me. And then I have a little app on my phone where I put the pictures side by side. A hundred percent of the time, maybe with the exception of like one person, it's like so insane, the difference between the before and the after, like th these are real pictures. Like these are people that any pictures that I'm sharing are like either my family members, um, clients that have given me permission or friends who have given me permission. So these are not stock photos. Like these are pictures that were sent to me and and the, like, I'm shocked when I look at them and then I send it back to them and then they're shocked because, you know, you see yourself in the mirror every single day. So you don't see the incremental changes, mm -hmm. but when you exactly. see that big change before and after, that's when you notice it. Or, you know, we are designed, the, the human body is designed to forget pain. So if we don't write down our symptoms previously, it is so easy to forget that we had knee pain or that um, we had discomfort when we walked upstairs or, you know, anything. We had hormonal fluctuations, like we are designed to forget pain. So if we don't write it down, we simply forget. Yep. Yeah, I find that is so true. And how quickly, yeah, across the board, people forget how they've been suffering, which is wonderful. But at the same time, these these ways to remind yourself of how it was and and really um, support the fact that your body is changing, it is constantly healing. Yeah. Um, and one more point because oh, yeah, yeah I, I get asked all the time, <clears throat> do I have to take this for the rest of my life? <laughs> I don't know if you get asked that too. Yep. Yeah. Yes, you do. And believe me, I wish that wasn't the case. I mean, I'm the first person that, that wishes that wasn't the case. 
we have to, it's like, do we have to eat every day for the rest of our lives? Well, unless you're doing a fast, yes. You know, you have to eat in order to survive. You have to exercise in order to have a healthy body. We can't just exercise once, or we can't just exercise for three months, or we can't just eat for three months and then we're good, or we can't just brush our teeth once. You know, it's, it's not a trick. It's not marketing. It's not a sales pitch to say that you have to take this for the rest of your life. It is addressing aging. You know, after the age of 25 to 30, the loss of collagen is going in one direction only. And this isn't even gonna stop it. And what it does is it slows it down. It slows down the aging process, um, clinically shown approximately 10 to 15 years. Somebody said to me approximately 15 to 30 years, that would be amazing. I think it's like 10 to 15 years. It just slows it down. So you're gonna take it to replenish, and repair. And then once you've received that maximum repair, then it's maintenance. It's, it's slowing down the aging process for the rest of your life. And it's maintaining the gains that, that you gained. I personally will never stop taking this because I actually ran out <laughs> and I felt it like my joints started hurting and it doesn't mean that it didn't repair and help my joints during the time that I was taking it. It simply means that I'm 47 years old and I've had joint issues since I have memory, you know, it's lifelong joint issues. I don't expect that if I stop taking the product, my joints are going to be per perfect for the rest of my life or my skin. I'm still going to get like compliments that I have a bounce factor. If I go to an esthetician, if I stop taking it, it's going to stop just because that's the aging process. And um, so, yeah, we have to take it for the rest of our life. It's well worth it. I mean, talk about an investment, right? It is I mean, it's an I incredible investment in your health. Yeah. yeah. And that's why. So you can call Tara or message Tara and I. Email us. You know, you're, if you're if you're new to trying it, you can get ten dollars off your first order. Just just reach out, reach out with questions, and we will share more. Because I I did want to make sure Tara that we did talk about. I mean, you mentioned the, the liquid form that you can drink, right? But one of the things that's also unique um, is the different forms that um, you can get this collagen and get the benefits with it in your body. So if you could talk about a few more of those with us, that would be super helpful too. Yeah, gladly. Um, I call them the hero products, you know, so there's five products that I'm in love with and every single person in my family, I, I said this in the last video, I said, everyone I love is on this product. And that means my, my biological family and then George's, my husband's family, my friends, my clients, like anyone I care about, they're on this. And so there's different ways to do it. Definitely my favorite one is the one that we've been talking about, which is the supplement. We just drink it twice a day. Um, okay, so anyone that is wanting it to go faster for the wrinkles, it's the skincare line. Um, so what the same formulator did, this woman, she's just brilliant is she created a whole skincare line. So there's the, you know, this is a moisturizer. It's, um, it's like really nice and creamy. Um, uh, yep. Yep. Very silky, but there's a serum, a moisturizer, an eye cream, which is like amazing. I, I couldn't live without it. A lip, lip plumper, um, a brand new cleanser. It's a, it's a, dual cleanser so you put it on dry it's like an oil and then you add water and it frosts up i i i mean i've never used anything like it i'm so like it gets all the oil out of like the the impurities but anyway the point about the topical is that it's the same science so that mole molecular weight that was um taken down from like a basketball to a pea that exact same technology was put in the skincare product so that it penetrates the dermis and so again, as a buzzword and as a fad, you're gonna see collagen and skincare products. And 99.9% .9 of that is absolutely worthless because the molecule is so large that it's gonna sit on top of your skin. And I talk to the estheticians, I know a lot of estheticians, um, I talk to them about this all the time and they get so frustrated because their clients are coming in with acne and like bad skin because the collagen is sitting on top of the skin and it's blocking the pores. And that is why this is so different is because that tiny little molecule is gonna directly penetrate the dermis. So that's the skin 
you know, surface and get into the, the, the skin so that now you're drinking it. And so it's inside out and then you're putting it on your skin topically and that's outside in. So you can literally get it from both directions. And um, my mom did this. Then you can see like her neck and her eyes. She started using the eye cream and the, and the skin in about six weeks. It was remarkable at, at the age of 80. Um, so that's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> I'm looking at time, I think we're okay. Um, yeah, maybe about five more minutes would be perfect if we can just cover a couple um, key other ones. So a key one that I just posted on my wall is uh, this, it's, it's a weight management product. And I have never in my two decades ever supported a weight loss product ever. And the same thing with Sophie. Yep. Because there's, sure. being, there's, this, there's always something wrong with it. There's always something that's going to negatively impact your health. This is the first and only product I feel safe. And it is not a weight loss product. It is a body composition product. It's a weight management product. And what it is, it's a mixture of the exact same um, liquid collagen mixed with CLA. So CLA stands for conjugated linoleic acid. And so this is a, a, a fat that is extracted from safflower oil. And that's the only source that's effective. And what it does is it, it goes, so your body takes the CLA and um, into the fat cells and it goes, oh, I don't need this stubborn fat anymore. And then it like pushes out the stubborn fat, not the good fat, but like the stubborn fat of your belly, like you just can't lose, especially if you're past a certain age, no matter how much exercise you do and no matter how perfectly you eat, you just can't lose that fat, that stubborn, stubborn belly fat. So the combination of putting the collagen with the CLA, it naturally increases lean muscle mass and decreases stubborn fat, especially belly fat. And I know this sounds like snake oil. So I had to try it and it worked. Like, and the scale didn't budge, by the way, it's so important. If you're gonna do this, measure yourself or put on a pair of jeans that are too tight, don't go by the pounds on the scale because you're gonna gain muscle, which weighs more than fat. So my waist, it's, it's not like dramatic, but my waist got smaller and my muscle mass increased as I've got a composition scale. So I could, I could prove it to myself. And then my jeans were fitting you know, better. And so I didn't have a lot of weight to lose, you know, with the hormones, I have about 10 to 15 pounds that I didn't have before my hormonal shifts, but I have other clients. And remember, it's not a weight loss product. I've had other clients lose 40 pounds when they could not budge elsewhere otherwise. And it's because their body just needed this, right? They, it just needed to change the composition um, of how the body was utilizing fat in the body. Does that make sense? It does, yep. And I've had a key, I've had that too with a, a clients where they've been trying everything else. And then this, this is what started the shift like a shift in a different direction that, that then built off of all the momentum that was happening with, with diet and exercise. Yeah, and thank you for saying that. This is not a magic pill. You can't just take it and expect to lose 30 pounds. It's like, it builds the momentum so that your diet works and so that the exercise works. It really helps the body shift the metabolism so that your healthy eating and your healthy lifestyle works and you're able to make the shift that you've been trying to make for so long. Yeah. 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 And I just had one person say they had to hop off because it's one o'clock, but they're just wondering about um, how they could get more information about these like hero products and where to get them. And yeah. so um, I just wanted to reiterate that it's, it's really reaching out to Tara or I, um, and then we can send you ongoing information and how to get a hold of them. I don't know if you want to add anything else to that, Tara. Yeah, we're here for you. You know, um, Sophie has a team, Sorry. and then you've got me, Lee, and we're in this together. So you, you know, social media is the way to go, right? So you can hit me up on Messenger. You can hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, Sophie. You can call her office. You can email her. Yeah, you can um, text the office. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So either one of us. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. and for those people who can stay 
Yep, there's a few people yeah, able to still stay. Yeah, we can keep going. Okay. Um, so my next favorite is the coffee. Okay, so it's not because it's coffee. You know, you can get coffee anywhere. There's a million different kinds of coffees that are good for you. What this is, I call it my, my smart coffee or brain food. It has something in it called nootropics. So fancy word that just means it has herbs and um, ingredients in there that feed the brain and it works. So, you know, it's so one of my family members is dealing with cognitive age related cognitive issues. So actually two of my family members are in that situation with age related cognitive issues. So we're definitely using it for that. And then myself going through that perimenopause, menopausal stage, if um, anybody listening to this, any ladies out there, you know what I'm talking about, the brain fog and, you know, forgetting words and just like spacing out, like I've never experienced anything like it. Hormones are real people, Whew. or, you know, people have thyroid issues. So what this does is it increases your focus it increases your brain's ability to think. And with enough time, it actually increases the, um, the, the um, uh, neurological, like, oh, what's the, see, of course I'm talking about brain stuff and I can't, word I want to use. <laughs> it's just too funny. But it increases focus, it increases energy, um, and it increases um, the health of your neurons. So it literally helps healthy brain aging. and. While that's important at any age, after I think your 40s and your 50s and moving forward, it's like you need to treat, you know, your brain's an organ. So just like we focus so much on our liver or we focus so much in our stomach and our intestines or our joints or anything else, like our brain is an organ and we need to properly feed it. And for me, this was as significant as finding the liquid collagen because the liquid collagen helped me with my joints and it helped my health in so many different ways but I was still struggling with the hormonal um, brain fog and this just completely handled it. So I cannot say enough about this product. I, I tell people it's not a coffee, it's a brain supplement. Yeah. Correct, and, and it has the collagen in it as well, right? Yeah, so it's yet another way um, to be getting a dose of that in yourself daily. <laughs> Great. And then for those people who are still hanging on, um, if any of you follow me, you know, I got a greyhound. <laughs> so my husband and I decided to adopt, um, a, res a rescue. Um, so it's an ex racing greyhound and she's four years old and, um, she had an incredible career. So, you know, if anybody watching knows nothing about greyhounds, they're racers, right? They race for money. Um, and it's called, you know, it being, being in the money, if they're good racer and so she had 132 races and she won first second or third over 50 times and if you include four because in the money is one through four I think she's been like in the money like over 60 times so she's a pro athlete like an elite pro athlete and you know and you know I'm just talking about her but this is for any dog joints right it's an issue for any athlete human or animal or just an aging dog and then um, she was treated very, very well, but she did live in a kennel. Like they live in crates. And so she has something called kennel butt, which means that she lost all the fur on her back legs and on her butt and um, on her throat from her collar. So she's missing fur. And then, you know, they feed standard diet. It's, you know, Sophie and I are, <laughs> feed our dogs the way that we feed our families. We do. Um, <laughs> she was not fed that way. So she has really dry flaky skin so she's a healthy dog right but she has these issues so I've been feeling oh and her fur was so dry you know it wasn't soft so there's um there's a whole pet line and so it's for cats for dogs for horses and her 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 fur now is so soft and like gleaming that perfect strangers talk like they're like oh my gosh she's so shiny or they pet her and she's so soft and that Oh, it makes me so happy, you know, because she's my baby now. And when we pet her at first, it was like, it, it just wasn't soft. So, um, so yeah. And then my mom has an aging cat and the fur was all matted and um, a long hair cat. And now without even brushing it, the fur is not matted anymore. And then surgery. 
So animals that go through surgery, they're recovering faster. I actually have friends who are vets and they have their personal uh, pets on the product because they understand it. So aging animals, their joints, their brains, um, their skin, their fur in surgery. Yeah, very cool. I, yeah, thank you for sharing that. I did it. I'm looking around. <laughs> no, did you cover everything you wanted to cover? I know you covered everything I wanted you to cover. You know, I really um, thank you so much. It's it's wonderful. Just you know the the vastness of your clinical insights from everything that you've been seeing, um, and really helping people to understand right the foundation. Right, we spent a bit of time just on the foundation of the importance of collagen, and really understanding how this collagen is unique, um, and then all the di diverse different ways that you can get it into your body, right? And, and that clinically you will see um, for sure faster results if you're doing it in a diversity of ways. Yep, that's right. Different taste buds, different desires for how to consume it. So there's a lot of variety here, a lot of options for you. Yeah, wonderful. Thank you again, Tara. Do you have anything else you wanna say as a last minute? We don't seem to have any questions rolling in yet. so. Um, we can hang here for a minute if we do. Um, yeah, I'm here. You know, if anybody has any questions that I didn't cover, please ask away. Uh, thank you so much for having me back, Sophie. I love these so much. Yeah, so much fun. Yeah, it's really, yeah. I mean, I love talking with you because we've been working together for so long, yeah. you know, and we share the same passion of health and helping people. And then there's like this new product that has just been, it's been a game changer. It's been a game changer personally. It's been a game changer for our clients. And it's been um, a game, game changer as far as like knowing that we have additional solutions to help people. I completely agree. I completely agree. I'm going to stop the recording now and um, 